It's the 28th of March, 2011. It's Monday. On Tuesday morning, we fly to India. Well, myself and Doreen, and then a few days later, we'll, we'll part ways. Um, it's, been, it's been a tough time, the last few days. I've been really concerned about, about my health and it's partly spurred on by my mother's health being being in a bad shape and kind of spooked me. And anyway, I've been to see a couple of doctors and checked a few things out that worried me and it seems I'm, I'm okay, which is, which is cool. Um, but it's incredible with Saturn crossing over my son just how profoundly and intensely I've been gripped by, by anxiety and, you know, my friend Irina pointed out that, you know, with Saturn in my ninth house, very insightful of her, um, you know, that, that as this, this, this journey, this great journey approaches, that naturally I would be seized by, by a, a typically Saturnine fear and anxiety. And it's been exactly like that. What an astrology lesson in itself, watching what happened to me when I finally go traveling. With Saturn in my ninth house in my birth chart, it, it literally can mean not much traveling. And you know, I'm, I'm 37, and the last time I went overseas, I was 12 to go see my grandfather before he died in England. <coughs> Interestingly, yeah, because the last few days I've been so conscious of mortality and all that, and having dreams about my father and grandfather and their deaths and so on. It's incredible. This is not what I was expecting when I first had the exciting idea to uh, to go to India and like meet astrologers and wizards, you know. <laughs> um, but, wow, I mean, there yeah, are astrology lessons in, in, in this process uh, already. Um, yeah. Well, I'm excited. It's, 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 uh, it's possibly going to be quite a challenging uh, experience, but wow, you know, life sometimes can be so much more vibrant when you, when you're aware that, that it's, it's temporary. And all your choices will eventually determine what, what you did, what you created, what you can look back on, what you can harvest. It's such a mysterious thing that is going on for all of us, living, being born, having all these experiences, dying. Then what? It's one thing to think about these things. You know, intellectually when you're feeling fine. These these things become much more profound when when you when when the reality of life and death are brought, brought home. I realize so many of us, especially in the West, we're so sheltered. How many of us have even seen a dead person? You know? And this thing, you know, astrology is, is one of those sciences that can help us catch a glimpse of what this whole story is about. But learning a couple of astrological techniques is not necessarily going to to do it. But um, you know, it is amazing if you think that Saturn will only go around your chart maybe three times in your life. Jupiter maybe six, seven times. You know, there's only so many opportunities to learn certain lessons in a single lifetime, to have certain experiences. I don't think we realize just how precious each moment is, how, how many forces have to be present 
to make any experience, good or bad, possible. I think we take the end to estimate that.